up everybody people was asking about us who we're going to fight between prime james tony and prime mike tyson <laughs> i'm gonna go with mike tyson mike tyson is naturally in shape the best shape of his life he's like 205 like 205 210 some shit like that and anytime two guys meet in the ring and they weigh 200 pounds or more you never know who gonna win the fight because all it takes is one punch from either guy whoever get clocked first is gonna lose. <laughs> you never know who gonna win a heavyweight fight. You never know. And James Tony is not a natural heavyweight. And James Tony, um, if you moved up, you, when you move up in weight class, you don't take your punch on power with you. James Tony beat Holyfield, but he beat an old, washed up Evander Holyfield. And he beat a, uh, Holyfield is not a natural heavyweight. Holyfield is a uh, light heavyweight. Holyfield moved up to that weight class. Holyfield came, Holyfield started boxing. Oh, he was a bad dude, boy. Ain't no way James Tony would have beat uh, a young Holyfield. Ain't no way. Uh, in shape, holy hell no. Well, I don't know, I can't say that. James Tony's a damn good boxer. But I, I think Holyfield, I go with Holyfield all day. But they two different weight classes. And James Tony against Mike Tyson, two different weight classes. Tyson, Tyson is a natural heavyweight. He's naturally heavyweight. He's too, like I said, like he's like 205, 209, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that. But he's a natural heavyweight. Hold, James Tony is not a natural heavyweight. James Tony moves up the heavyweight because he let his taste buds run his life. He eats like he's going to the electric chair, and that's what messed him up. Cause he's a damn good fighter. Damn, like uh, Don Turner used to always tell me. He said, he said if James Tony could watch his weight and stay at 160. You would have never heard of Sugar Ray Robinson. <laughs> That's how bad James Tony is. James Tony was bad, boy. Bad. He's a bad dude, boy. He can fight, but he just don't like to watch his weight. But like I said, James Tony against Mike Tyson, I'm going to go with Mike Tyson. Tyson is fast. He is hard. And when he got you hurt, he kills you. And he's a natural heavyweight. James Tony was not. A natural heavyweight. James Tony was 160. And then he moved up. Kept moving up, kept moving up, kept up. Now the reason, now the reason James, the reason Roy Jones Jr. beat James Tony and he beat Bernard Hopkins. Because uh Roy Jones Jr. is lightning fast. And when you fast, you can do what you want to do. When you fast, you can make mistakes, but your speed comp compensates for your mistakes. That's why Roy Jones was so good. That's why Roy Jones beat Bernard Hopkins the first time. But when he slowed down, Bernard Hopkins beat him. Because technically wise, Bernard Hopkins, you know, Bernard Hopkins is a technician. But speed beats all of that. You could be the best technician in the world, but if you fast, you could be the technician. Because speed kills. Speed beats all that shit. But once Roy Jones slowed down, you see he didn't have the technique like he should have had. You know, the letter is down for, but that's it. God's take it easy. Yo, what's up, everybody? These are my books. Get a copy. This one is called Don't Beat Your Children or They'll Turn Out Like Me. This one is called Corner Stores in the Middle of the Block. And this one is called Agitation Gets the Dirt Out. Get a copy. Hit me up on my cash app. Dollar sign, number one, Brad Baffley. And I'm Adam C. Myself. Or check me out on Amazon. Peace. This shit is wet. It's wet. It's cold in this shit. Man, I gotta get my life together, man. I gotta get shit. Shit wet. I'm supposed to take your clothes off. Ugh. And people be trying to fight like James Tony. You gotta stand at an angle, man. It's an angle, 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 angle. Angle. Angle, warm up. Angle, angle, angle. Angle. This is an
full scale. And his hand is way back here. That's why you don't see a lot. That's why um, James Tony didn't throw it a lot. Until he got you beat up. Until he got you, know, he got you in range. It's coming from way back here. Look how far I got a shot. That's why guys that fight like this, they could beat you with a jab. Because they right there, but the jab is the closest thing to you. Take it easy.